こんにちは。Do you want to learn video camera vocabulary in English? My name is Jen, and today we're going to be learning about vocabulary for video cameras. I have 10 verbs and 10 important nouns coming up. So, if you want to use a video camera, there are two very important things that you need to do before you can start using a camera. This is called an instruction manual or an operating manual. It will tell you how to use the video camera. This is very important and you should read it before you start to use the camera. Here we have a power cord with an AC adapter. So you will plug this end into the wall. This is the plug. This is the outlet or wall socket. The verb is plug in. Plug in. This is how you can charge your new video camera. Now the light is orange because it is charging. Here is the camera battery. Insert the battery and charge it. Insert means to put something into something else. Charging means to give power to something. In this case, charge the battery. Juice up your battery. Charge your battery. The next thing we need to make this video camera work is a memory card. Here is the memory card that we will be using. Some interesting things about this camera. Here we have a viewfinder.、Okay? So if you want to see what the camera is recording, you can look through here. Flip out this screen. This verb is flip out. And now I will flip over the screen. So flip out and flip over. This is a very special screen. It is a touch screen. So I can touch everything on here and choose my options from this point. If you Mute something, it means that there is no sound. If I want to mute the volume, turn down the volume. Turn down is a great phrasal verb. Turn down means to decrease something. So turn down the volume means to decrease the volume. The opposite of that would be to turn up the volume. Turn up the volume would be to increase the volume to make something louder. This part here is called the lens. So inside here, there is the lens. This is the microphone. For short, many people call it mic. A microphone picks up the audio. Audio is another name for sound. This particular microphone is a five way surround sound microphone. If I don't want to hear the sound of the person who's recording the video, I can push this button. This is the record button. When you push this button, you can start to record your video. Re record means to capture your film. On the very bottom of this camera, you can see there is this hole here. This is useful for using a tripod. Tri means three in English. This is called a tripod because it has three legs. Do you know what this is called in English? This is called a hot shoe. This is a great place for sticking an extra light or microphone onto a camera. This button here is called the zoom button. If you push it towards T, it's Tightening the frame. The frame is what you see on screen. If you tighten the frame, you are zooming in. Zoom in means to get closer to something. Here you can see me zooming in to the CN Tower. Zoom in. W stands for widen. If you widen the frame, you are zooming out. Here you can see me zooming out on one of my favorite toys. The verb is zoom out, become farther away from something. Now I want to teach you two really great verbs that are useful when you are filming things. The first 
first verb that I want to talk about is to tilt. Tilt means to move the camera from up to down or from down to up. Here is an example of tilting. You can see me tilting the camera down and now you can see me tilting the camera up. The second verb that I want to talk about that's really great for filming things is called pan. Pan means to move the camera from left to right or from right to left. Here you can see me panning the camera. Pan the camera. USB cable. One end will connect into the camera, the other end connects into the laptop. Connect means to link two different things together. So I will insert the HDMI cable into the slot here. Here is the slot for the HDMI cable. Slot means the spot where you should put something. Slot is where you stick things. Slot. And again the verb is insert. An HDMI cable is used for hooking things up to a TV. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. Basically, it's a great way to send both visual and audio from one source to another. It's called an HDMI cable. Here, you can see that this new camera will shoot in 16.6 .6 megapixels. If there are megapixels, it means there are one million pixels. So what is the meaning of pixel exactly? This is a way to measure the quality of images and graphics. So the more pixels and the more megapixels something has, the better resolution and the better quality of an image, a photo or a video that you're going to be able to see. So in the future, I hope you can look forward to better quality images from Gen Studio due to this camera. For more information on this camera, please look at the link in the description below. So today, you learned over 10 verbs and 10 nouns to help you describe video cameras in English. And now it's time for question of the day. Today's question is, have you ever recorded a video? And if so, what did you use to film it? Let me know in the comments below. Nina, thank you. Gambate ne. Johnny!